MSF has been treating primary Kalazar, relapse of Kalazar, uh, then HIV uh, Kalazar, well, and PKDL. The project started in 2007, in July 2007, and MSF has treated more than 12,000 patients of Kalazar. In this period, we have also conducted diagnostic camps in different places of Vaishali and Bihar. We have also conducted uh, treatment camps in different places of uh, uh, Vaishali and, and, and Bihar. When MSF started in 2007, we started with in Sadar Hospital Hajipur and uh, five PHCs of uh, Vaishali district, uh, Mahua, Mahanar, Lalganj, uh, Vaishali and Raghopur. In 2015, for primary Kalazar, for relapse and for, um, for PKDL, we have handed over to the government the treatment in the Sadar Hospital Hajipur and the, the other PHCs that we work. Now we are working in only in the field of HIV VL and in the HIV VL if there is PKDL we are also treating that but mainly HIV VL. At present we are treating with 40 milligram uh, uh, liposomal amphotericin B. Then we will also treat some patients with uh, ambisome and uh, multifocine and then we will give evidence based to the government and higher authorities on this treatment modality. The number of VL patients is definitely going down but the HIV VL, VL is Kalaza, the HIV VL is constant. So the percentage is going. Uh, so you, you can say say from two uh, one to two percent. So it's now around about four to five percent in the HIV population, in the Kalazar population. All Kalazar, all primary and relapse Kalazar patients should be tested for HIV. That means in a PHC, in the PHC level, in the Southern Hospital level, in the Medical College level. Whoever is detected for Kalazar should be tested for HIV as well because for primary Kalazar for relapse the treatment is different and for uh, HIV Kalazar the treatment is different. So all Kalazar patients should be tested for HIV and then, uh, then they, they should send the patients either to MSF, uh, MSF uh, setup or RMRI for treatment because the treatment is different and secondly what I want to say is that all HIV patients who are going to the ART centers with symptoms of Kalazar that is fever more than two weeks, palpable spleen and they sh should be tested for RK39 or RK16. As far as I understand, the government is doing an excellent uh, uh, job and regarding the Kalazar, uh, like uh, there is, uh, they are providing liposomal amphotericin B uh, to uh, for primary and relapse patient, and uh, PKDL patients are being treated with multifocine. So let's see. Uh, I am very optimistic. <laughs> <laughs>